Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Certified Football 12 box pick your team number four. That's the uh, second inner case. Remember Sean opened up pick your team three at first inner case last night. We'll be doing the second 12 box inner. Also, chance to win a sealed box. We'll ship it to you sealed. A sealed box of 2020 Panini Certified Football. That's pretty cool. If you buy at least two teams in the break, you'll get an entry, so on and so forth. All the descriptions are right there. Everybody knows about that. A lot of good stuff here. So let's roll. Big thanks to all of these lovely people here for getting into the action. Pick your team four. Thank you. There's Ronnie with that last spot mojo star next to his name. Maybe a little extra magic there, perhaps. All right, let's see what we got. Now from, I didn't watch Pick Your Team 3 last night, but from what people are saying in the chat, they're saying, hey, the break was all right. But I don't think there was like any of the, the big name quarterbacks in there, i.e. Herbert, I don't think was in the first half, right? No Herbert autographs. No Joe Burrow autographs, no Tua autographs. All right, so you can see on the top camera right there, you just slide this over here a little bit. You can see all the boxes up there, so there's plenty of camera coverage here. Nick Galvin saying, Pick your team three was nice. Oh, there was a Hertz patch auto, okay. But not that guy. Or uh, guy, guy on the Bengals, Mr. Burrow. Farm auto in there too? Jorge, what's up? Miami only up by four for Washington. It's got a little heat pacers happening right there. Pacers don't want to go down three nothing apparently. They're they're battling. Trying to make things interesting. Got football, baseball, NFL stuff happening too. Any crazy NFL news that I'm missing? My head, my I'm just been so locked into basketball and, and, and baseball. Mostly basketball to be honest with you, but I've just been so locked in there that I don't know if I've really come across any major major news. All right. Here's box one. Good luck, everybody. Carson Wentz, 219 out of 299 for the Fly Eagles Fly. That'll be for Eric J. Sammy says, yes, uh, <laughs> some breaking news. Bears still suck. Are you a Bears fan saying Bears suck? Certified potential Tony Pollard to 25. That will be for Cascade Lesage and the Dallas Cowboys. EA saying Nashville Mayor said no fans for first game. I didn't think there'd be fans in any game, right? Are, are, are there cities that are going to have fans at games? Just in the inch of time, we're going to set aside these numbered cards right here, and we're going to sleeve and top load those up a little bit later. Just so this break doesn't take a million years. It's a nice uh, Tua right here, though. I like this design. This will go to Miami. That will be for Ryan. Not a, they flip this around, make me think it's an autograph, but it's not. And for the blue horseshoes, Jersey and Auto, Jacob Eason, 28 out of 99. Pirates finally won a game. There you go, Pirates. And quarter, maybe partial capacity stadiums could probably work. There's Clyde Edwards Hilaire, Relic. Ted on the Instagram stream, talk to him about, about this kid for the Chiefs, John McCall. He thinks he's going to win Rookie of the Year.
Got an out of 50. Christian Fulton for the Titans. And there's AJ Epinesa to 399. And that's box one. Box two. So EA saying that the University of Tennessee wants to try to get twelve to twenty thousand people in there for SEC games. Who is the SEC guy? Are they just going to play each other? Aren't, aren't like all the conferences? I don't watch a lot of college stuff, but aren't they? Uh, aren't a lot of the conferences saying eh, spring? Is SEC still planning for fall? I guess they could just play games against each other. They're a pretty good good conference. I mean, I guess the, the health concern is when you're like in a concourse waiting in line for beer, right? But if they, if they, you could make it work, I feel like, for an outdoor stadium. Couldn't you make it work? If you socially distance the people and then you have people going to you, like there'll, there'll be people, servers that'll come to you and, and, and bring beer and snacks for you, right? Just a, a, have that as a as a service, not just for the for the expensive seats, but just have it as a safety service for the entire stadium. You make more boom. Oh, entry and exit times. Okay, there you go. So I mean, I feel like they could. I feel like as long as you can keep, you know, and encourage everybody to mask it up too. But if you can stagger those entry and exit times. Maybe section by section, it'll just have to be, that's just how it has to be if we want fans there. Inconvenient, yes, but if you want fans out there, then maybe those are the concessions that, has, that have to be made. I feel like baseball can, can do the same as well. Maybe they'll experiment with that in the playoffs or something like that. But yeah, as long as you can keep groups of people away from each other, You know, that, that, that could work, I feel like. Right, staggered seats, staggered rows, John suggesting. I, I feel like you can make it work in an outdoor stadium. And hopefully, if everyone just kind of polices each other, you know, and, and with masks, it's going to be chilly. Everyone's going to be wearing gloves eventually too, right? So maybe, maybe that could work. Ross Blacklock to 199. All right, yeah, maybe you got to cancel the tailgating. Uh, yeah, which sucks, but I'd rather have some fans there than just saying not nobody. Hey, Jordan Love, 93 out of 149. You're going to love it, Joseph. Joseph L. with that one. I haven't noticed that. Have they been doing some limited attendance for Europa League? Like that. I mean, NBA. I can see how that can be tough. Sort of in a, in a, rookie signatures in a sort of arena, small arena dome environment. But no, no fans for Jets or Giants games this season. Malibu, what's going on? Love the LA Times. Are I'm nice pick. Thanks. Yeah, I got my pic. I got my picture in the paper. There's Aaron with the Falcons. Thanks for reading it. Thanks for supporting us. Appreciate that. Can't do it without you guys, ladies and gentlemen. We wouldn't be in the LA Times if it wasn't for you. And there's Michael Pittman Jr., new generation relic. For the Colts, Derek, with the blue horseshoes. I think the Rams will get in their new stadium their first home game, John. But I don't, I don't know if anyone's going to be in there. All right, next box. I don't think anyone's going to be in there. No no one in the Rams Charger Stadium. I, 
I honestly I I don't know. I I feel like for the duration of the season they probably won't won't have anybody there. I think LA has just started tailing off of being a hot spot again. I think we finally kind of reflattened whatever curve we had going on lately. And so I'm not sure if if the state is prepared or the city is prepared to have live big sporting events happen just yet. All right. There is Quez Watkins. It's kind of hard to read that that red foil against the black. Maybe update that. I usually love I love certified, but maybe a slight design change on that panini that might be helpful. Uh, and there's Gabriel Davis relic for the Bills. Eric J. Buffalo. Jalen Hurts right there. Stadium, I'm pretty sure is... Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like if there was going to be fans, there's a two-color passion autograph, T. Higgins, to 225. There you go. Freshman fabric for EA and the Bengals. Looking for the guy that's going to throw him the ball. But, uh... I don't know if the stadium's actually complete. That's a very good question. 37, I know there was a ton of delays. That's Terrell Edmonds. <laughs> Steelers, Michael Gallucci. <laughs> kind of looks like it. Um, to 75, it's a family show, folks, easy. TJ Watt. Uh, to 299. Sam, you want to be my assistant? What are what are your assistant qualifications? All right, so Derek with the Colts. Philly saying the Philly thirty-two ninety-one saying the Ram seating is one hundred percent done. Is Isaiah Coulter? You have Mad Connection. I don't know if Mad Connections gets you makes you a good assistant. How, do, how does that make you get me a good cup of coffee? Can you make a cup of coffee? Do you know how to take food orders? Do you live in the South Bay area or the Los Angeles, the greater Los Angeles area? Been collecting since you since five years old. How old are you now, Sammy? If you're only ten, that doesn't help me. <laughs> we can't hire people under eighteen. Murrieta, where, where isn't that? Is that? I'm not sure where that is. I was gonna, isn't that near San Diego? 
I might, that's, that's a hell of a commute, Sammy. I don't know if you're going to like that commute. Did I, I did not see the Raiders season ticket pack as they sent out. There's Alvin Kamara right there. Van Jefferson, jersey and autograph. 355 out of 499. Oh, maybe that's more closer to Temecula, kind of halfway to San Diego. Still a long way to Hermosa Beach. That, that might be prohibitive for Sammy to be my assistant. Jo uh, Joseph Lachat with the Rams. And there's Mirror Signature's Ricky Jackson. Whoa. The season ticket package is a mini stadium replica that plays the Raider song when you open it. Like the Autumn Wind is a Raider, that song? The Autumn Wind is a Raider. 27 out of 99. Wow. Now I want now I want to uh, get see I can't afford season tickets. I don't have season ticket money. We gotta sell a lot more cases of certified football. If I'm gonna get if I'm gonna get uh, Raiders NFL any NFL team, NFL season ticket money. Twenty out of one ninety nine. New generation relic. Wait, you're gonna be our competition, Sammy? I appreciate the service, but I don't know if I appreciate you being my competition. The boss man, Navy guy. Hmm, I gotta get Raider season tickets now. Out of 450, Adam Thielen, yeah. The uh, the visiting team chaperone is going to have a lot of fun trying to wrangle 53 men, 53 young men with money in Vegas. See what happened to the uh, to the people who visited in, uh, in uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the hockey team out there. Yeah, as am I, Sam. Um, so, like, uh, I think the Golden Knights had an impressive home record. Like, if you bet the Golden Knights to, to win on the money line at home, their inaugural season, there's Derrick Henry for EA and the Titans, then you, you would have profited pretty, pretty nicely. The Vegas flew. All right, next box. See, season tickets for the Raiders, for my Raiders, would get expensive for me because um, it would I would have I would have to fly or drive there eight times. A year. I guess I could. What do people do a season? Do people actually? I would want to go to all the games. Maybe I don't. Do I sell games? Do I sell like half the games? And then. I go to the other games, just like go to a couple games. I don't know how that works. I feel like NFL's made it harder to like sell season ticket games. Like I can't just, I don't just get like a little ticket stub that I could give to somebody. There's Joe Burrow Relic for EA. Getting warmer. Oh, they they have a website to resell tickets. All right, how much are? I don't even want to look at how much season tickets are for the Raiders. Isn't there like seat license stuff too? I don't. Here's Jelani Tavai for the Lions. There you go, trendsetter.
No worries, Sammy. We got Stefan Gilmore in 75. We got Kenneth Murray in 75. J.K. Dobbins to not to 399. Any guesses on this redemption? And Cortland Sutton, two color patch, seven out of 35, a certified gamer, and my rival Scott Goodman with my rivals. Imagine the people that bought resale tickets in early February. <laughs> yeah, I don't, there has to be some sort of. I don't know, unless it's like a private cash sale or something like that. Yeah, maybe then sad times. Stephon Gilmore to 450. Tyler Johnson to 299. No? Nobody? Philly, the Philly saying Ram sent out an email saying you can get a cardboard cutout at the home games. I wonder if the Raiders would do cardboard cutouts. That'd be kind of cool. Sammy saying Redemption is Tua. Brian Baker, a known associate uh, with Sammy. We've discovered this earlier. I'm a much better assistant than Sammy. He's a pros He's more of a prospect, and you're like a vet player. I see. Oh, maybe we'll just have to have a coffee off. Who gets my lunch here the quickest? Who hustles to run and get me top loaders when I run out on the table? All right, good luck, everybody. Freshman Fabric Signatures, card 216. Good luck. J. U. Juju? No, Justin? Justin Herbert? H? No. Justin Jefferson? Justin Jefferson. Wow. What a, what a roller coaster of emotions right there. I didn't know what it was going to be. Justin Jefferson is a Viking. Skull. That goes to Scott Goodman. Season tickets range from six fifty for ten home games to thirty five hundred for club seats. Times eight or times ten, right? It seems like a lot. What about yeah, what about the Malibu saying talking about personal seat licenses? That's where they get you, right? I feel like the per game price I could easily do. Or what about the personal seat license? There's Nick Chubb, mirror signatures, three out of seven, just two off a train whistle. That goes to Cleveland. That'll be for Glenn and Campbell. By the time I get to Cleveland, she'll be rising. So how much is a PSL? Maybe, maybe these are 2021 goals, not 2020 goals for me. But now I'd like to know. Two out of 10, Nate Stanley. Nice low number here for the Vikings, Scott. Keyshawn Vaughn, relic for the Buccaneers. That's gonna go to Dave Ivers. Malibu's got me here. He lowest PSL for Raiders per seat started at like eight to ten thousand. So if I want two seats, so I'm not just watching a game by myself, and I want to take a buddy or a lady friend, right? I've got to pay ten twenty thousand dollars for two seats plus the six fifty a seat. 
per per game. It's a lot. We gotta raise the prices on certified football if we want to. Joe's gonna get Joe's gonna get PSL money. There's Gabriel Davis, three color jersey and autograph to four ninety nine. When's NT football coming out? We need that. Just wait for the Raiders to suck and then PSL prices will go down. That's a very distinct possibility. Justin Herbert, 10 out of 99. Almost looks like, looks like Chevron's right there. There you go. Bolts. Rich Schmidt with the Chargers. He had a friend get row two. His PSL is 16,000 a seat for four seats. What, what, what does he do? I need, I, need, I need his job. It's Kyle Duggar. All right, next one. <laughs> yeah, I know. We gotta try to find you some ink, Rich. So Eric J is saying it's more like an investment. You can <laughs> after they win the Super Bowl. Are you talking about the Raiders? We're talking about the same team, right, Eric? Might have to wait for uh, Patrick Mahomes to to stop being Patrick Mahomes. And that that might be like fifteen years. So EA saying I bought my Titans back when they sucked, got two on the thirty-five yard and ten rows up for six K each. Wow! So there's a whole there's a whole like stock market. There's a fluid market on values for these. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I'm at season ticket level yet, you guys. I think I'm at, at, you know, buy seats off of StubHub and then fly to Vegas, and then stay at my sister's apartment to save money, <laughs> in Vegas, level right now. I don't know what Vegas is gonna do. There's Capola with the Redskins, or the Washington Football Team. I don't know what the I don't know what Vegas is gonna do about fans and stands, cause I was I was, man I was so excited about that new stadium I was gonna I was gonna fly to Vegas, my sister's birthday is in December and I was gonna be like hey I'll take you to a football game, how cool would that be? There's new generation she enjoys sports you know like so that'd be a cool thing cool big brother thing to do, take the kid sister to. To a football game in December, but nope. Thanks a lot, COVID. Uh, Michael Belushi, Steelers. There's, there's my homies right here. He's gonna get in the way of the Raiders Super Bowl for a while. No fans. Raiders had a scrimmage there last night, but maybe maybe some wizard comes and deliver, delivers like some sort of uh, some sort of vaccine next month. And I'll just be like, pop, pop that vid vaccine right in my arm, and then just breathe deeply in small and close spaces, and I'll be like, I'm good. There's Willis McGahey, mirror signatures. 161 out of 199. Sam is asking, in my opinion, who has the best shot to be in the Super Bowl this year? The Kansas City Chiefs. Man, there's a Broncos box, isn't it? My rival, Scott Goodman, getting all those Broncos. Wentz right there to 99. I mean, it's got to be the Chiefs, right? I mean, it's chalk, but 
They, they won the Super Bowl last year. They look pretty good. They know what their weaknesses are. They got Patrick Mahomes. They got all those, you know, young pass catchers, speedy guys that are that are just another year older and just more experienced in the league. It's gotta be that. The NFC crapshoot. I'll, I'll I'll put the 16 teams in the NFC. Put them in random.org and whatever name on top. Boom. I thought the Packers would have given... Right? They were just a game away from the Super Bowl. I thought the Packers would have given Aaron Rodgers some, some extra weapons just to... For one more run, but... They didn't do that. Chargers may have a QB now. Raiders need a QB. I think I think Derek Carr is still a TBD. Raiders added a lot of, a lot of weapons this year. Potential weapons. Ooh, nice patch. Keyshawn Vaughn. That's out of 349 you get that patch. That goes to David Ivers. I think it's I, I think Derek Carr will be given kind of this season to be like, all right, here's some weapons. What can you do with it? There's Fred Warner, Niners. Certified potential autograph. Five out of ten. Nice low number for Coppola and the Niners. Raiders team is going to be half Raiders fan and half the other team? No, you're, you're thinking about the Chargers and Rams. You know how excited Raiders fans are about that team being in Vegas? All the people in L.A., Raiders fans in L.A. will, will be all over that trip. The, the stadium is sponsored by this airline called Allegiant, who have all sorts of special deals from Oakland directly to Las Vegas to bring all the Oakland fans over there. Um, my sister lives in Vegas. I go to Vegas a lot. And there, every, every mall has a Raiders team shop there. A lot of Raiders stickers on the back of trucks out there in Vegas. There's another Bronco. That city is fired up for the Raiders. So you're going to get a lot of the local people who live there. There's DK Metcalf to 450. A lot of local people who live there are, who are going to be fired up about that. Think about the resale. Again, you're thinking about the Chargers and Rams, who have very fair weather fans. Raiders have one of the best fan bases in all of football. They're like the Steelers. Steelers travel. They're, they're, they're like the intensity of those kind of teams. There's Cortland Sutton, another Bronco for Scott Goodman. No, the city is very excited about. There's Justin Herbert right there. The city is very excited about the Raiders. I don't think I don't think it's going to be the Chargers situation, where at their home games it's like. I think that some of the guys here are Eagles fans, right? They went to an Eagles Chargers game a couple of years ago. There was like 60, 70 percent Eagles fans. Um, there, yeah, no, we don't have any alerts, unfortunately, when, I mean, I suppose if you have some coding skills, you could have a notification sent to you when something sells out on the website, but we don't have that. No, see, there you go, Malibu. Sorry. <laughs> he works for the charge. Yeah. Unfortunately, Raider, Raiders are, have a, have a slightly stronger fan base. All right, four boxes to go. This one right here and then three more on the top cam you see right there. I'm doing good on time. We're at the 34-minute mark. Um, so the schedule in the chat's a little off on time, but but the next break, we've got a couple more breaks after this. There's Jalen Hurts, Relic, new generation Relic for the Eagles. That will be for Eric J. Mm. 
Nah, I don't need an assistant. I'm fine. I'm all right. There's Clavon Chase and Jaguars to 50. Got Joe Montana to 25. Jerry Ju man, it's a Broncos case. 19 out of 25. Three color patch and autograph for Scott Goodman and my rivals. Those dirty donkeys, the Broncos. Who might actually be interesting this year in all seriousness. That guy, Drew Locke looked pretty good at times. Added a lot of weapons, you know. Some younger players they drafted a year or two ago could be marinating, could be emerging, could be blossoming. Eagles, Eric J. Dallas Goddard. Juju Smith Schuster to 450. And a one of one bangle. That is Tyler Boyd. All right, not Joe Burrow, but still a one of one. EA and the Bengals. Are we getting warmer? EA, Cat Team Mojo, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! LaVisca Chenault Jr. to 399. Neville Gallimore to 299. Next. on my water. I need more water. All right. Moving on. Vanilla Gorilla and his just hatred of the Lions. When the Steelers come to Detroit, it's like a Steelers home game. Steelers travel pretty well in general, right? Pacers were keeping it keeping a little close, but now with 22.8 seconds left, Miami's up by eight. Yep, that's gonna do it. Just really run the clock out. A little foul. Tua, relic. Dolphins, Ryan, Ryan L. Justin Jackson, five out of five, certified potential autograph. All right, there you go, Rich Schmidt, Chargers, not not Herbert, but a train whistle. All right, Rich with the bolts, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Out of five and under, get the world famous train whistle. There's Kyler Murray. Where's the number there? Out of 50? Yeah, there it is. Out of 50. We got out of 450, Damian Williams. Raekwon Davis to 399. And Clyde Edwards Hilaire autograph. Three color patch and auto. 58 out of 299. Chiefs, John McCall. There you go, John. 
This is this is Ted Jaspi's choice. It's on Instagram right now at Jaspi's Breaks with personal boxes, but that's his choice for Rookie of the Year. There's Cortland Sutton, relic to 149. Scott Goodman, Broncos. Nice break for the Broncos. There's Darius Smith to 199. DeAndre Swift to 299. Second to last box. Where's the other game on then? My game. Espen? No, they got Rocket Thunder. Oh, the Lakers game's on ABC. Oh, okay. All right, all right. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everybody. This is pick your team number four. There's a full case, uh, no, sorry, a 12-box inner case random team break in the shop right now, which is part of our big $1,000 promo, jaspiescasebreaks.com. Check out all the details there. All the details on that promo on the top of jaspiescasebreaks.com. Read it, check it out, see what breaks are involved. And maybe give it a shot. Deadline at 9 o'clock Pacific tonight, 12 a.m. Eastern. A.J. Brown to 199. Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, again, new generation relic this time for John and the Chiefs. Michael Pittman Jr., 399. For the Patriots, 99, that's Sony Michelle. Have we seen, we haven't, right? Cam Newton Patriot cards? When's that happening? Three color patch and autograph, LaMichael P. Ryan, 53 out of 99. For the JETS Jets, 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 Adam Kupperman as Jets, Samaj's brother. Pretty talented family there. Brother? Brother. Cousin. Brother? Brother, I think. There's Keyshawn Johnson. Autograph. 11 out of, uh, 11 out of 35, that is. Key for Adam Kupperman and the Jets. Jets finishing strong. Nice. Keyshawn does, uh, does mornings here on Sports Talk Radio. ESPN Radio, 710. All right, and the final box. Good luck, everybody. Pick a team four. I think we're a tiny bit behind that schedule I just posted in the chat, but but the the order is is, is still correct, though. KC was going to be a little more competitive in this, this series, but 
it looks so good in the regular season and in the the reseeding games, but it's like like James Harden is the rest helped. That's a nice that's a nice belt, Russell Westbrook. Nice Hermes belt going on there. Good for him. All right, we got Derrick Henry to 450. LaMichael Pirine, three color patch and autograph. Jets finishing strong for Adam. Justin Tucker, there's your second autograph. And final one of the break, two out of 20. That's for the Purple Birds. That'll be for Aaron Billingsley and the Ravens. There's Chase Claypool for the... So we should have two more relics to go. Maybe a low-numbered relic would be cool. There's a 2 out of 25 gold. Dolphins, Ryan L. with that. Kind of a cool, cool color on that parallel. And there's Daryl Taylor. And we got Van Jefferson. 268 out of 299 for Rich, or no, not Rich and the Chargers. The other LA team, Joseph and the Rams. Kind of looks like a Chargers logo. That's going to throw me off. All right. All right, to 50, Will Fuller, Cam Akers. DJ Shark is our last hit of the day. Nice Jaguars window there, 299. Fabric of the game. Ronnie with the Jags, a little something for you at the very end with Last Spot Mojo. Two ninety nine, Ben DiNucci, and the last card is Stars Amari Cooper, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was certified. Pick your team four. Let's do a quick recap here. There you go. It's kind of just start in the middle right there. Justin Jefferson redemption. Some lions there. Some relics. Some mirror signatures. Van Jefferson has a nice auto. There you go. That was good for the Packers. Broncos had a nice break as well. It's a good looking patch. Keyshawn Vaughn. A good looking patch right there too, Justin Herbert. Gold two we just saw a second ago, Justin Tucker. A couple of uh, Michael P. Rines. Clyde Edwards Hilaire looked really sharp. To a relic. Jerry Judy Gold was pretty cool. Clavon Chase and then a couple train whistles right here. Certified potential, five out of five. Justin Jackson, and a, just a one-of-one -one base card, Tyler Boyd for the Bengals. And there you go, boys and girls. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll do more football with you next time. Bye-bye.